So whenever I finish an Alaska episode, I quit the game, simulate to the next week, get it set up for the next time I record. By the way, we're ranked. I have stumbled across the most OP rec Like, this guy was literally designed for me to use her. What is going on, fellas? Distinguished Dishrack31 here. Last week against Washington State, we had a lot of recruits come in and a lot of people sign. This includes 79 overall Ryan Skinner, who is the six foot seven quarterback. We also signed Brenton Coldwell, who is in the top 25, I believe, in the entire class. He turns out to be a quarterback. Gonna need to find him another position. Zach Weatherford and then Stafford Prater. All these guys came in on visit. Chris Davis is scheduled to visit this week. So is Chuck Nolan. Both of these guys are gonna bolster up that secondary. So because we signed these four guys, we were then allocated 2,800 more points. I found a Chris Walker, who is a Juco. He's a three-star athlete. He can play running back. He could play receiver. He's pretty much a receiving back. Tony Dickens, an outside linebacker. He was decent. I put him on the list because of the 80 hit power. And then I stumbled across Anthony Harrison. Six foot tall, 223 pounds, and is a four-star recruit with the 700 points and the 255 bonus. It will be easy work to jump up in front. He went up four overall, 85 speed, 99 acceleration, 87 hit power, 83 jumping. Can also shed like a beast. I really want to use this guy more than anybody in the history of, of any dynasty we've ever done. That being said, fellas, we're taking on California this week. Stanford's already played their conference and division games, which means no matter what, we cannot take first place. Therefore, we won't be in the Pac-12 championship this year. At the moment, it's saying we're going to be taking on Notre Dame. Now, that would be a really good game to play in. Speaking of that, we have Nebraska at ranked number one in the nation on an 11-0 record. They're the only undefeated team left in the entire NCAA. Oklahoma is 6-4 with that overall. Next episode will be our bowl game, after that the offseason, and then we get to play with that beast linebacker. That being said, fellas, let's jump into the game. We lost again. How? Alright boys, let's get it. Final game of the season. Not much on the line here, but... Nope. I'm just going to take that all day. Oh, get that block. Look at Kyle fly for it, dude. I like that, mate. I like the intensity. Dropping the strong safety down a little bit. Rivera, can you get open across the middle, my dude? He doesn't get open. Oh, ooh, good SWAT. You better start with that man coverage. As soon as possible. Put Gilliam on a wheel route again. Hopefully they fall for it. Go to that out route. Foster the 65 overall. He's going to power his way in the end zone. That was the easiest drive all season. A little bit more than a minute. Florida State might lose to Florida. I'm loving this man coverage. <laughs> As they dot us up. He's going to take off because we don't have a spy. Oh, jeez, run into a brick wall. No interception, all right. I knew this quarterback was going to take off. Ah, oh, my goodness. Oh, great blocking, guys. There we go. Look at the easy juke move. Oh, Gilliam. What was that, my dude? I'm going to look out here for the... Uh... Nope, thought it was going to be a running back play. Damn. I'm going to join the Blitz this time. I never go on the Blitz. Rightfully so. Come on, keep him out. Going to take off again. <laughs> Normally, they give that a touchdown. It might have been a touchdown, now that I think about it. Watch this blitz I send. Let's go, Jim. It's <laughs> a big catch. He doesn't even look like a gym at all. He's 
Oh, <laughs> dude, what? Hang on to that coat, that's my guy. You reckon they'll forget about Gilliam? I reckon they will. Yeah, this is a lost cause. I just had to fight for a dude. He's probably going to get injured now. He probably will be injured. Coach wants to put on the big boy balls. He understands. We are 7 and 4. We're trying to go 8 and 4. But it's hard to do. You get blitz like that. Ooh, I see you. There's no way he just came out of that. What, what are, what's going on? We have to kick off to these guys in the second half. I would preferably like to be 14 to 10 or even tied up. I'll be happy with a tied up game. Nice. Go boys! Uh, let's put Mendoza on the spy just in case, because I feel like this guy is going to try and take off. He's been doing it all bloody game. They're annoying. Boost! Oh, I, I'm the one who got boost. Nice. That goal line stop, that red zone D, that was very, very lucky to say the least. We need to get some pressure to the quarterback right now. That was, I don't know... I did everything but tackle the quarterback there. I guess I'm going to jump on Gene. I think they're just going to go to the run there. Oh, it's so annoying. Have Oh, that's a face mask. They're not even going to call it either. That is home field advantage at its finest. I thought we had a spy up. Clearly not. It's going to be another run. No, it's not. Oh, that's my flat. Oh. What are you, what are you going to do? If they call a blitz at any time. Oh, dude. Nice, get the block. Nice spin move. G Jim got... Oh, I nearly called him Jillium. <laughs> I'm gonna, th I'm gonna test it. Oh, Jim has no awareness right there. You see that? He just kept running. Lucky this game has no value towards how our season's going to turn out. Take off again. Come on. Somebody's got to react. We can't get off the blitz. Hubbard just got screwed up from behind. Got to watch the quarterback here. He's tired, which means he's vulnerable to the fumble. He's going to get sacked. Nope. Just going to be another run. Let's go then. More than anything today, it's been the mistakes that have held us back from our being in front right now. But that's what you get when you play three Alaska games in a row. Mistakes are going to happen just like that. Let's go. That is a lot of man coverage. Hopefully we can buy enough time here. Either Jim can get open or Copeland can get open. It is man coverage. Oh, the step back didn't get him. That's still a big completion, though. This isn't the play I was after, but it's very similar. Unfortunately, we have the trash cans out here. Rivero is the only notable receiver that I would like to throw this to. Now he tries to buy some time. Speaking of which, he's gone. He oh, it's underthrown. <laughs> oh, no way. Come on, Jeffrey. It's all up to you, my guy. Come on, come on, come on. You got the speed. Ugh. I wanted to give the computer a go to see if they'd have a better crack at it than us. No, nope, they took a page right out of our book. This game in particular has just been a shocker, mate. This guy's a beast for 65 overall. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, good blocks! Those smart devils, they're gonna switch it out to the right. I never would have guessed. Oh, they're on it. Yeah, they knew. They knew that was coming. Why not? Why not, right? Oh! Isn't that a safety? Or is he on the one? He's on the one. You guys thought I threw an interception? Come on, man. 
That was the plan all along. Get two points. Get it right back. Score eight. He threw another one. Dude, and they scored immediately. Oh, dude, these guys. Now you want to start completing passes, mate. When there's 10 seconds to go, we got blown out that game. Damn, they dropped 500 yards on us. If I'm not mistaken, Kyle had five interceptions that game. He had two simulated. That was the third. The fourth one was the one where we got the safety. And the fifth one was on Sim as well. Checking out the stats on the day, Kyle Arnold still managing to have a 130.4 passer rating, 350 yards, two touchdowns, five interceptions. He also had 22 yards on the ground, Jim Gilliam, essentially doing nothing out there. Receiving into things, Jim Gilliam with 84, Rivera with 79, Foster with 41, Wills with 44. Again, like last episode, it was fairly evenly distributed. On the blocking end of things, we had zero pancakes and four sacks. And on the defensive end, Jeffrey Prince tied with Phoenix Timmons, seven total tackles, two sacks to Mendoza and Huggins, also a TFL there to Mendoza and Huggins again. No interceptions on our end of things, but California had a lot of them, so... That being said, fellas, that's going to wrap up the regular season for the Golden Eagles Dynasty. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Next episode is going to be the postseason, then the offseason. That being said, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Not making any sense